In this video, we are going to take a look at some of the parametric elements that can be used with ProSteel. Among these, we are going to start by looking at the bracing. We are going to place two bracings onto this structure, and for that, I'm going to first turn on some construction lines that I have already prepared for myself in order to do that. So we can see I already have a construction line here placed where I want my bracing to be. So I'm going to go to my ProSteel tools and I'm going to call in the bracing command. I select the construction line and the two elements onto which I want to connect that bracing element. It automatically brings the last bracing that I created, giving me an option to change some of the values that are entered for spacing or for the number of bracings or the element to be used, where is the element located. Like right now, we can see that the element is on the back of the gusset plate. I want it to be in the front. Actually, I'm not going to go and change all these values manually. I could change the element size. I'm just going to load my template that I already have for a cross bracing. So as you can see now, the bracing element is in front and it actually is a cross bracing with a plate in the middle and it automatically updated all the values, what bolts to be used, uh, the type of bracing is it in CS. Yes, we can see now it's at front, and all the values according to what I need. Now there's still one little thing that needs to be uh, modified, and it's the gusset plates on top. They are attached to the column, but they do not know there is a presence of this beam, so it's creating this problem on both sides. What I need to do is I need to use this little tool called Add Cutting Edge to actually tell it to use the bottom of this beam as a cutting edge. And it automatically detects that beam and now both are placed properly. Right. Let's not forget always to go to the Assignments tab of these dialog boxes to make sure that everything is assigned with the proper descriptions, area class, display class, etc. if need be. Right. In my case, because of the template, all of the elements, whether it's the rod, the gusset plate, etc., they are all already assigned properly. I am satisfied with this, this bracing. I can close this. Now, if I ever needed to do any changes to any of these parametric elements, as soon as you place one of these parametric elements, you will get a line that will appear in your level called PS object. So I'm going to turn that level on. And notice here, there is a line. It's a bit hard to see. There. There's a yellow line here that goes along the bracing. This is my parametric line. And I can always click on this line and say PS properties. And this will bring me back to the dialog box, allowing me to make any modifications to this bracing. I'm going to leave this bracing like this. And I'm going to change my view to look at this from the side. And I'm going to place here, on these two other construction lines, I'm going to place a, a K brace. So that is actually two different bracings that are going to be joined together at the top intersection. So I'm going to place the first bracing on this side. So again, I pick the two elements that are being connected, which is column and beam. But notice that what happened now is it's creating a cross brace because of the previous bracing. In this case, I don't want it to be a cross brace. So I could just remove this from here. But it's still probably not all exactly as I want it. I do have a template. And let me leave it on so you see. So I'll leave it as a cross brace. And I'll go to my templates. And I'll just tell it, load the V brace template. And see how it automatically adjusts it. Now I just need to check and see how the element is in the back side of the gusset. So I'm just going to come here and tell it go to the front and mirror so it has the leg up. So this one seems to be okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little tool here to disable the gusset and I'm going to pick here. And notice how that gusset now has disappeared. The reason being that I'm going to bring now another bracing from the other side and I'm going to use the same gusset for both elements. So I go again for the bracing, select the construction line, select one column, select the beam, I get my bracing. Now let's look at it. And this one, uh, is it on the right side? It seems to be okay. Let's maybe rotate a little bit to make sure that it is okay. Move this here. 
and it is okay it is on this side perfect so now what I need to do is simply tell it I want to add with this button add this element and the gusset automatically grabs that other element and I'm done with these two bracings so that was for the bracing command